Dress the plate, mastering an elegant English phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and slightly fancy phrase, dress the plate. This term is often used in culinary contexts, but it's also a great example of how English can be both descriptive and imaginative. Let's dive in and discover the layers of meaning behind this phrase. Dress the plate is a phrase that primarily finds its home in the world of cooking and gastronomy. At its core, it means to arrange or garnish food on a plate in an attractive way. This can include the placement of the main dish, the addition of garnishes, sauces, or other decorative elements. The key idea here is presentation. Just like dressing up in nice clothes for a special occasion, dressing a plate is about making the food look its best. While dress the plate is primarily a culinary term, it can be extended metaphorically to other areas. Think of it as making something presentable or appealing. It's about adding those final touches that transform something ordinary into something special. For instance, in a business context, dressing the plate might mean adding a visual aid to a presentation to make it more engaging. In conversations, you might hear, dress the plate, in various contexts. For example, a chef might say, let's dress the plates before the guests arrive. Alternatively, in a casual conversation, someone might say, I spent the morning dressing the plate for tonight's dinner party. It's a phrase that signifies attention to detail and a touch of elegance. To fully grasp this phrase, let's visualize it. Imagine a simple grilled fish. Now, think of the same fish adorned with colorful garnishes, a drizzle of sauce, and arranged neatly on a plate. The second image is what, dressing the plate, embodies. It's the same dish, but presented in a much more appealing way. Dress the plate is more than just a culinary term. It's a window into understanding how English phrases can be both literal and metaphorical. We hope this video has not only enriched your vocabulary but also given you a new perspective on the beauty of the English language. Happy learning, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.